Let's take a look at the Her Mode tuning functionality offered in Cubase 7. Western music for the last several hundred years has been based on an equal temperament tuning scale. This means that the octave is divided with equal ratios into 12 distinct notes or semitones. This allows for music to be played in all keys relatively in tune, but not mathematically perfectly in tune. When we listen to a great choral group or great string orchestra, often what the musicians are doing is seeking more of a pure temperament or where they're more mathematically purely in tune. MIDI itself is based on equal temperament, so sometimes emulating large string or choral groups can be very difficult because of this tuning discrepancies. Her mode tuning will allow us to achieve many of the principles based on pure temperament when working in the MIDI domain. Her mode tuning can be activated by going to the project menu and selecting the project setup. At the bottom here we'll have HMT type and HMT depth. So if we look at our different types we can have reference which will give us pure thirds and fifths We'll have classic pure, where the thirds and fifths are more equalized. If you want to be uh, more adjusted for Baroque music or pop jazz, which has sevenths, we can choose our different tuning modes directly here. And let's select our classic and then hit OK. We can activate different MIDI tracks, in particular MIDI tracks, to follow her mode tuning or not to follow her mode tuning. And this is done in the MIDI modifier section of the inspector. Usually by default, the MIDI modifiers may not be activated. So you can simply right click in your inspector tabs and make sure that the MIDI modifiers is selected. Open a tab and then you'll see HMT, this is the her mode tuning, where we could check it to follow or actually use for analysis. So what I've done here is created just uh, a wind quartet of bass, clarinet, bassoon, oboe, and clarinet playing whole note chords. And I chose these instruments because they don't have any natural vibrato. And as we play, uh, the top parts in red are in without the hermo tuning activated. And the bottom tracks have the hermo tuning activated. So let's listen to the tuning discrepancies between the two parts. So if we listen to our top tracks here, we, and if we listen closely, you'll hear some of the chords start to have waves like they're out of tune. And while this is in tune in our equal temperament mode, it may not sound that in tune to our ears. Let's take a listen to it. Now let's play the bottom parts here, which are have the hermo tuning activated. And let's listen to them both play at the same time and listen to the tuning discrepancies. So as you can see, there's a pretty big discrepancy between more of the pure temperament and equal temperament. But when you're trying to realistically simulate choral or string instrument sounds that naturally play and perform and seek out more of a pure temperament, the Hermo tuning can aid you in getting that realism not available in traditional MIDI parts.